started going back to work and it's really I'm finding it difficult to get back into a routine and I just feel different and I'm wearing clothes to me feels different and just people seem different and I, I don't know I'm finding it emotionally a bit hard but um, you know just one day at a time and I think you just focus on positive things as well like for me uh, um, I feel like my skin's got a lot better since lockdown so I'm really happy about that and I'm really happy that I did make a YouTube channel in lockdown and um, just that I got a little bit of downtime as well I mean that that was nice um, but today I wanted to talk about um, a few bags I've noticed lately on Instagram that are going to be released by Louis Vuitton and I've talked about this before but I uh, I just noticed a bag recently pop up pop up called the LV Point Pont 9 I think it's called and it's another one of those bags that have been gifted to like various Instagrammers and influencers um, and it's a real it's a real push bag similar to the multi pochette bag um, it's been gifted to like oh, so many in Instagrammers and um, this bag is um, a very different price point because it's a full leather bag it's box calf leather it's 5650 AUD so Australian dollars um, which I understand because it is a leather bag um, I was reading the description it's box calf so um, oh, actually it said calf skin but, but by looking at the um, texture of the bag it looks like a smooth grained leather which looks really really nice and, and very professional and it has usually um, like a nice sheen to it um, it is really easy to scratch if you do scratch it it's very hard to buff out box calf leather so I, I do wonder if it, if it is the box calf leather um, you know wear and tear for that bag it's not going to be great but it is a really nice looking bag and apparently the interior is also um, leather lined so that's nice and it's got the calf compartment similar to the pochette matisse but this bag looks smaller and kind of cuter to be honest than a pochette matisse Although I do like how the pochette Matisse has the um, the little top handle thing. This bag, I actually really love the look of it. It looks like a very classic style, very timeless. Um, I like the closure is like a little flower as well. I think that's a very cute detail. And I also like how the strap has a little LV kind of like a logo. Um, where you adjust the length of the strap. I think that's a really nice detail as well And I also love how the lining is in contrast with the outer leather. I think that's also very pretty Now the bag itself like I, if someone gifted that to me, I would just be like oh, So cute like I love it. It's 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 a very nice bag. I'm not gonna lie um or would I buy it? Um, it is $5,600, so no, I can't afford that right now, but, um, like, it is a very classic, and I think it's a very classy style. I don't see this ever going out of fashion. It's a very simple silhouette. Um, however, it's, it's, it's nothing, like, revolutionary. Like, it's a messenger bag, um, it's adjustable, it, it has... It's it's just it's just a, a crossbody bag. I mean, it's nice, um, but yeah. In terms of it being box calf as well, I'm very hesitant about that leather because I know um, if you just scratch that, it's done. Like that scratch is not going to buff out a hundred percent. I'm telling you. So that that would also make me a little bit hesitant about getting that bag um, for that price because I know I would be a bit heartbroken if I got it scratched. Um, I did notice on the website um, it comes in about five colours. I think there was a white, a black, a blue, orange and like a pinky colour. I really love the white one if I was going to get it. Probably the white. And I noticed on Instagram they're going to release more colours so I saw a tan one is going to be released too which I, I think the tan one is actually super nice. So yeah I do love the bag. Um, but is it going to be popular? Is it going to be as popular as the multi pochette? Um, well, uh, I did notice on the website some of the colours were sold out. So, 
maybe I just I think it's another one of those push bags I also when I went to the LV website and you know how you go to the search bar it literally told me to search for that bag so I'm just like oh it's a bit overkill the way they're pushing it I think they think because you know the multi push it was such a success in terms of the way they pushed it if they push a leather bag maybe it would have the same effect and I mean imagine how much more money they're gonna make out of selling a leather bag because it is like well it's probably like double the price of the multi pochette um, and yeah I mean it is kind of gonna create that trend of buying more of the leather Louis Vuitton bags which I think is the way that Louis Vuitton wants to go in the future as opposed to the canvas bags which I think are more popular um, overall because they are a little bit cheaper and it is that monogram canvas that everyone kind of falls in love with and is probably first introduced to as well so I think they are trying to like you know that they kind of they've seen the way that they've influenced people with the multi yet and they're trying to do the same with this bag um, yeah I love the bag I think it's great um, it's not like I feel desperate to get it but it, it is a great looking bag so I mean I probably would get it if I had a lot of money or not even that like again I'm not even sure because the box calf the bit scared about it so <laughs> yeah maybe if they made it in a grained leather I would probably go for it actually um so the next bag is it looks like a, a trio of pochettes I think it's called the pochette LV3 now as soon as I saw this I'm like oh this is obviously like just another play on the multi pochette again it's uh, you know accumulating SLGs um you know a lot of people are just gonna love this because it is all those SLG fanatics are just gonna want an SLG bag again and it has you know the reverse monogram which people love it has the black on front I think and just the plain monogram and it looks like you're able to you know kind of take out the pochettes of the out of the loops and you know use them separately or you can kind of you know mix up the way that you style it with the strap I don't know there's probably a few little things you can ways you can wear it like the multi pochette I don't know um, but it looks like the price for this is gonna be uh, I, I don't actually remember what the price I saw was gonna be but when I saw the price I was like oh, that is not worth it <laughs> like it looks like it's gonna be super overpriced so I don't know this bag it looks cute to be honest but um, it's not like I'm not desperate for it again now this bag <laughs> now this is from the Nigo collab sorry if I said his name wrong it's a little turtle bag now this is cute like this got my attention mainly because it's the shape of it is cute I, lo I love a mini bag I love that oversized Damier Abine I think that's super cool I even like the little font of the Louis Vuitton squared I think that looks really cute and the turtle is just so collectible to me <laughs> just having to yeah I, I, you know this is just a very novelty bag it's very up my alley it also looks very practical how you can wear it up here I love it but yeah I don't know how much it's gonna cost so again don't know if I would get it but that is would be at the top of my list also I saw this like really mini dolphin it looked like a wok but it was a square shape that is so cute like that also I think is yeah that would tempt me <laughs> If I was gonna buy a Louis Vuitton bag, yeah, that that is that is really cute. Um, and the last bag um, I would like to talk about is the Louis Vuitton Sac Plat bag. So they are gonna come out. So the Sac Plat is like a it's kind of a, a tote shape bag. Um, you know, it's it's been around for um, I'm gonna assume a few decades. I have found a picture of Angelina Jolie wearing one. Um, I first noticed it when they had the the cherry one um, I saw some in the Japan as well just the, the cherry sack plat um, I do love it I love the cherry one um, it, it's a, that, that side is, is blah. that size looks really big so I don't know if I would wear it but for collectability you know um, I, I would probably get it but 
Yeah, the size is a bit there. Uh, but now they're going to come out with a, a mini sack flat. So, you know, that that's going to be popular, um, hands down. This one is, yeah, this one is a hit. Now, I've seen it in the monogram. Um, and, yeah, obviously that's going to be a hit. Um, it's a, yeah, it's cute. <laughs> and it has a detachable strap, which is great. Um, and also, they've also brought back the sack plait in the Nigro collab as well. Um, has a few more elements to it that they've added, and it is smaller than the original sack plait. So, I actually don't even know if that's how you say it. Is the T silent? Like, is it sack, sack plait or something? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so... What else did I write here? That's it! That's all I wanted to talk about um, in terms of bags that I've noticed on Instagram lately. Uh, but this week, I just wanted to show you like what I wore, what bags that um, I wore to work. Um, so I wore this cherry pochette, which held just my card case and my phone and my keys. And I could also fit a mini bag of raspberries in there for a snack. So that was handy. Um, I don't know if I've shown you guys this before. This is actually kind of new. <laughs> so, yeah, but uh, I love the cherry collection. I have the cherry speedy as well, and that's it. That's all I have from the cherry Louis Vuitton Takashi Murakami collab. Oh, and I um, I noticed online Uniqlo um started to sell Billie Eilish Takashi Murakami t-shirts. So I did order two. I don't actually like Billie Eilish. Like, I'm not, I, I don't hate her or anything, but I'm just, like, not, like, a fangirl. But I, I was a sucker for the, the flower art on the t-shirts. Uh, so I ordered a white one and a black one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them. Because, like, I feel like a bit of a phony because I actually don't listen to Billie Eilish music, really. Like, I just hear her songs on the radio sometimes, but I'm not, like, yeah, I've never really, yeah. Anyway, but I ordered those. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. And there was also a really cute, um, like, Liquum Tokyo um, earring collaboration with Takashi Murakami, which it was these cherry earrings and these cherry blossom earrings. But uh, um, I did find a shipping service that could send them to me, but it, it was just too much money uh, for what they were worth, so I didn't buy those. But Takashi Murakami lately has been collaborating with a lot of different companies which is really cool because I, I love his art I think it's um super iconic to me <laughs> um and I did use my palm springs mini a lot this week too um I found that super handy I tend to gravitate towards Louis Vuitton canvas bags um when I'm just being more casual I just want to like throw some snacks in there or something as opposed to other brands just because they find them they're very hardy they're very durable I don't have to worry about scratches and that sort of thing so yeah 